welcome back welcome back to the channel people guys i've made um so many videos today <laughs> and the funniest thing is i'm not going to use any of those videos because now i am here and i'm going to do something totally different yeah so all of the clips that i've recorded from morning I won't even bother to um, use any of these um, clips. Yeah, one of them um, was explaining how much I had friends coming over, but um, that didn't work out. I was scheduled to do a live stream today from um, Ritz Cafe with a whole sunset and all of that. And it rained today, so that didn't work out um what else ah it rained for so long and then the power went out so i was organizing myself to do a cooking video today and that did work out as well so the power came back none of my friends came over due to the rain which that that's fine um i actually went out and visited them in the evening hours when the rain stopped because there was no power here so it actually made no sense they came over how are we going to enjoy ourselves i don't have a backup generator or anything like that right so now i'm here i'm hungry so i'm going to do something i'm feeling for a bit of um indian food maybe some roti and um curry chicken i'm not going to do too much since i'm here alone and when i whenever i look about food and it goes in the fridge it's not my favorite food to have the day after so um i currently have a lot of food in there right now which i'm gonna have to get some of it out real soon i have a friend which he's blind he can't really see um i always cook and leave dinner for him but most of the time he's not there or I have to leave before he gets home so he always tell me to just pack them in some nice little container and store them in the fridge and he'll collect them so the ones that are maybe over two or three days they will depending on what it is i'd normally um throw them out or use them for dog food or whatever yeah so i have um quite a few things in there now anyways um without further ado welcome back to the channel if you're new here please remember to hit the subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber speak up yourself thanks for the love and the support that i've been getting from you guys so far yeah man so the power has just been on maybe about an um 10 15 minutes so what i did I took two pieces of um, chicken out the fridge. I have other things. I've had chicken yesterday. I don't know how many of you guys watched the video yesterday. And I have other things in my fridge, but because I didn't have any plans and the fridge has been closed since the power went out, so everything remained frozen. Now, I'm having quite a challenge to remove some shrimp. I wanted to do some curry shrimp, but getting to the shrimp in that freezer is hard thing to do so what I did um, I had some chicken on top I just took out two pieces of the chicken so I'm gonna have some curry chicken and I'm gonna see if I can whip up some roti as well that's the perfect thing for Indian food curry and roti I don't have any chickpea right as I made up me add actually make a little dal but I don't have any chickpea I enjoy the dal and um, roti I don't have any chickpea now so that's what's going to go on right now if you guys know the time and i'm feeling so hungry it's actually i don't know how well you guys can see it's 8 um 8 48 pm now in jamaica so it's getting up in hours and here i am thinking about food um because it rained also i don't like being outside when it rained there's a lot of mud and things so i won't just go to a shop right now and get food which i prefer to do and majority of these places around they don't really have delivery so the next best thing to do is whip up something for myself 
real fast. And not only real fast, I need something that I feel for. That's one of the greatest things when you can cook. You can actually cook what you want. The bad side of that is by your finished cook, your, prob your appetite probably change or because you've been inhaling that food scent for so long, you start feeling full. So I'm going to try my very best to do whatever I am doing real quick. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is get some all-purpose flour, a little baking powder, and some salt, and I'm gonna start um, knead my, or making my dough, or knead my flour, and then just go make that rest, and I'm gonna put on the chicken, because the chicken is gonna take the longest to cook. Yeah, man, actually, I can actually use my Instapot, which would have um, narrowed the cooking time really quick. The Instapot is really fast yeah, because it, it actually pressures everything, you understand? And it do it, it, it does that and still keep whatever you put in there to pressure intact. So if you don't go in there to stir it a bit, it won't dissolve or, or yeah. So I'm going to use the Instapot to curry the chicken. So just stay tuned and let me get this show on the road, alright? Big up on yourself. Alright people, so the first thing I'm going to do right now is actually scrubbing because um, I'm going to need some flour so the first thing to do is to clean your hands, alright? Yeah. Yeah man, hands clean, so next thing to go in with a little bit of salt. I've seen people make roti with um I've seen people make roti with sugar. Roti to make with sugar. See? And with a little bit of salt. You just kind of pinch more. Yama. And I need some baking powder. And it's really simple. It's really, really simple, guys. All right, so this is less than a pound of flour. So if you know how to measure um, baking powder, well, good luck to you, but I don't know how to do it. So I'm just eyeballing this. <laughs> yeah, man, big up on yourself. I'm just eyeballing this right now. And I'm gonna get some water and just knead my dough or knead the flour. Let me get a cup and get some water. You as well. Alright, so let me just um fluffy. I'm watching someone else um live. I'm just trying to turn it down. Alright, so I've um Combine everything and add the water to make this a nice texture. I hope we can get enough roti out of this. Because I make flour like some, you know, craving. If I'm in the mood to eat, guys, I have a full my belly. Yeah man, so while I roll um need this into a dough, I'm just gonna let the flower relax it a little and I'll do that by oh my god it's starting to rain again. Yeah I'm just gonna put this aside and let it rest a, a little. I have my um, chicken over here. All I have um, in this is a breast, um, wing, and a little leg. So, yeah. And it's rock hard, guys. This was the best or the easiest uh -huh. two piece I could have gotten out. It's rock hard. So, let me see if I can chop this up 
while it's hard I have a sharp enough um, chopper or knife and see if I can um, shorten the tying out process so that I can put it on because guys right now I'm getting really hungry yeah so I actually want to put on the chicken before I start trying the, the roti yeah so a lot of people use um, shortening they mix the shortening with um, oil and they'll use it between the layers of the dough but I don't have that I don't have any shortening all I have is oil so I'll only be using oil with my roti and it go come out just fine as well so stay tuned I'll show you how it's done my way not how uno do it or how other people do it and these are these are things that I I have learned in some other communities in Jamaica like um Georgia Spain wherever you find um Indian people they'll do this um type of cooking a whole lot so a lot of people would, would refer to this as um Indian food like roti and dal and um pumpkin curry and those things mm -hmm. they refer to those as Indian food as selfish choker I can make all of those things and I've learned it from being in a in a um Indian community for a while so stay tuned and let me show you what I've learned there and it, it has brought me here today so obviously I've learned something good anyway stay tuned Alright people so I actually think this thing was recording. I'm in here talking to myself and think this thing I record. Mm -hmm. job people Um, their hand to spread out the oil, but I have a brush to do, so I'm going to do so. I'll try now and um, 
Straight the bike on this one, the far, the far three, left and the left one. Separate it. And it's all. I'm going to go straight right here. And I start rolling the belly. One. And just like that. Come on, so. I'm going to get the back up. I'm going to get the top. I'm going to get the bottom. Just like that. I'm going to get the side. I'm going to get the wrist. So, I'm going to spread. So, throw up on the camera. I'm not having the best of luck tonight with videoing these royalty business. I don't know if because there's a layer of um, flour on my hand each time I hit record and think it's recording, I don't even bother to check. I'm just going to start talk and everything and when we go behind the camera to um, pause it or something I realized that it's not even recorded so I've done all this work and thinking I have all this content and really and truly I don't have anything I can't believe That is really absurd. I can't believe people. Roti don't actually take that long to cook because it's really thin. Yeah. So in a matter of minutes, it can be cooked. You understand? Yeah. So, roti and curry chicken. Guys, the curry chicken practically finished cook. I went in with onions and such and I thought I was recording. And I didn't even bother look at the camera. And to notice that um, the, layer, the layer of um, flour that is on my hand, I didn't actually press the screen properly or it didn't make any contact so the um the camera didn't actually start it to record can you believe yeah man if I know say I can cut the road yeah watch it we can't even handle the camera while me a cut Not perfect. Our how I've seen a lot of folks that are professional on the roti. I'm trying to make this thing look, but I'm certainly not the worst. I will show you guys all going in a bit. I just can't handle the food and this camera because I've been quite a few places with this thing. And don't ask yes it's hot but when you use the heat doing things like that come like nothing to you you know flipping all the carotis nothing holding a, a, a hot bread fruit and turn it on the stove come to you with ease coming like nothing yeah man so it's what it is I was really trying not to get this place all messy, but if you guys know the hassle and that stuff, it make it rotting. <laughs> Just imagine how my kitchen is actually covered with flour at this moment. I'm actually just trying to get some of the things out of the way as well, because I'm actually finished. Yes. Finished. That's my last one. I can't believe I didn't get any of the content. Man, that really hurts. Because my day I talk to myself and people. That one here not actually look as fluffy as the others are. See the other one, you know? Yeah, so. So nice that up, man. In the corridor. 
I don't want to go with four out of the end of that big still. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this thing would actually deal with the roti so proper as well, you know. Thumbs up to this thing, this um, so called skillet. If you guys know about skillet, you know that a real skillet is way over a pound. A skillet can weigh up to a um, three, four pound, probably even up. Yeah, man, real skillets are real heavy. And I think they said that's something here is a skillet. One thing I can lift it up. I've worked with skillets before. And <laughs> you must see one. The one thing I break, try to lift that thing up. Mm-hmm. Alright, let me get a plate so that I can serve myself. Alright then, so you have to crack it while it's hot, guys. Right now, it's really hot. Yeah, man. Big up myself for now, yeah. That is it. <laughs> 